1949, the, the, the English philosopher Gilbert Ryle wrote a book called The Concept of Mind. And in that book, he tried to explain his, his, his understanding or his construct, the way he viewed the mind. And he used an analogy, which I think is important here. And he said, imagine going to a university and meeting someone there and saying, show me the university. And so your guide shows you around to classrooms and offices and laboratories and shows you storerooms and shows you the gymnasium and so on. And you spend two hours wandering the property. And at the end of that time, you look at your host and you say, you showed me all of these places, but where is the university? And Ryle's answer is the university is in the relationship between these things and between ourselves and these things. The fact that you are not on a university campus does not make you any less a member of this university. This university exists in your relationship with these faculty members. It exists in your relationships with each other. It exists in your relationship with me. Um, I got up this morning 50 some odd miles to the west of here. I didn't go to the office on campus. I didn't have a meeting with anybody. I came here because at this moment, as we are speaking to one another, we are the university. And for all intents and purposes, we are the most important part of the university that exists at this moment. Because we are here for this common purpose to achieve the learning that you have asked to acquire and that these dedicated professionals are here to give you. Universities don't require walls, they don't require buildings, they don't even require laboratories. In my view, they require the human capacity to interact with one another and for, for one to learn from another. 